Okay. What I'm gonna be doing is <laughs> my cat. I'm reviewing the Rubik's Rubik's three by three and the Rubik's two by two. So first, we're gonna do the two by two. Don't mind my hair. It's crazy and it sucks. Okay, but now we're on the two by two. Um, pretty good, pretty good turns. Smooth, definitely smooth. It does like up sometimes. Corner cutting. Um, this is demonstrate corner cutting. You gotta basically be aligned, but if it's a little bit like you know, no corner cutting at all. So no corner cutting. So get lockups a lot, but it's a decently smooth turn. Very small. It doesn't even fit in my hands. Um, it's just, and it locks up a bunch. It doesn't feel smooth, but it it turns pretty fast. It turns decently fast. If if it if it was a good cube, and it wouldn't lock up like this. What the f what? Sorry. It would be better. But it, it locks up. I'd give it a 4 out of 10. Decent cube. Okay. We're getting into the freaking... Where the frick is it? Rubik's Cube 3x3. First of all, very loud. Um, decent turning. Decent turning, as I said. Decent turning. Um... And the corner cutting, let's demonstrate. That's way too much corner cut. Corner cutting, decent. I'd say about, there's your max for corner cutting, like smooth corner cutting. Right about, nope, over there in the line. So probably a, 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 an inch out is your max corner cut. Actually, yeah. So probably I'd say a half of an inch out was your max corner cut, which is an okay corner cut. Speed. I have to re-grip. That's how bad it is. There's no springs. Wait, look. No springs. Doesn't come apart at all. You have to freaking slam it to break it. Same with this one. Doesn't come apart. But um, it's it's really smooth. It's very smooth. Actually, it's it's the best. It's really smooth. It's it's best smooth. It's really good. It's, it's really smooth. So I give the Rubik's 3x3 three three a 6 out of 10. Well, there's your reviews, and I hope I see you next time. Bye.